Okay, we are back, and we've been locked out from the data lab. Um, now, I want to check something. Just, just a theory. Uh, let's go back. Can we go there? Let's see if Kihi uh Sorry, why did it say Kihiro? Not a real name. Let's see if Kyoko is still here. Because she's my prime suspect to be the mastermind right now. Okay, it seems like she's still in there. Okay. This doesn't make sense. I like, who could be controlling the teddy bear during the trials, for example? The class trials. I mean... Is it really one of us? My theory is that the um, uh, the dead person might still be alive. Uh, wait, where are we going? We need to go here. This will be a very interesting room. I think BRQ might be here too. Oh wait, what? 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 No, wrong room. Wrong room. Abandoned ship. Here. My bad. My bad. Huh. Wow, okay. This is the headmaster's room. I've heard an awful lot about it, but this will be my first time seeing it for myself. Hmm. Ah, Makoto. It's you. Oh, Byakuya. Okay. There are trophies and even the shield in the display case. Okay. Uh, huh, this must be Sakura. There are documents scattered all over the floor. Somehow it makes me feel anxious. Looks like the blue book is the important thing on that desk over there. The book no. Alright, what have you got here? Come on. Hey, Makoto. Not possible. Are you ignoring me? Do you think I'll forgive that just because you're you? Such ignorance. When we get out of here, remember this moment. Okay, what? <laughs> well, you came to the right place this time. Would you like to see something interesting? Well, so you wanted to show us the blue book and we couldn't see it for ourselves. What do you mean, something interesting? Hmm. Take a look at this. It was on top of that pathetically ostentatious desk. Class number 78, student registry. Hmm. It contains profiles for all of us and the kudo. So in other words... Apparently, class 78 refers to us. Wait, when we found Mukuro's... is it Mukuro or Mukuro? Mukuro's profile in Kyoko's room... I see. That's right, it also mentioned class number 78. This must be where Kyoko got that page. And since the rest of our profiles are listed in there along with hers... In other words... There can be no doubt, Mukuro was a student here at Hope's Peak Academy, just like the rest of us. Huh. Well, that's how Kyoko learns about it. But it seems that Kyoko was in a hurry. Huh? What do you mean? I'm talking about when she stole it. The uneven tearing? The way the paper had been crumpled? She must have been in a hurry. Well, since she's snuck in to get it, I'm sure she wanted to get out as fast as possible. But what's your point? <laughs> she was in so much of a hurry that she only got the first page. The first page? <laughs> Correct. Mukuru's profile actually contains two pages. What? So in other words, when it comes to this profile, there was more information about Mukuro that we still didn't have. What kind of information? Why do you ask me to explain every little thing? You can read, can't you? It seems to be some sort of detailed report put together by the headmaster himself. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what kind of man he was, but I'm glad he left us such an interesting clue. Okay. Ah, huh. Mikuro re reappears suddenly in the in the background, an entity floats, close but just out of reach. Wait, what? Mikuro reappears suddenly, and in the background, an entity floats, close but just out of reach, an entity known as the Ultimate Despair. Right now, I can't be sure if this is a single person or some kind of group. Whatever it is, Mukuro definitely has some sort of connection to it. I have a bad feeling about all this, 
I need to push forward with my research into the ultimate despair, and I need to pay attention to Akuro's behavior too. This is just my gut feeling, but I think she's dangerous. Despite the countless battles she must have gone through as a member of Fenrir, when she entered Hope's Peak, she didn't display any signs of battle wounds or scars. That fact alone proves her tremendous skill in battle. Naturally, I want to believe in her. She's one of my students after all, but if I die, decide she's a danger to the other students, I will be forced to take all reasonable measures. So this must have happened a year ago. When the, she caused the great tragedy, Nakuro was a part of the ultimate despair. I don't think there can be any doubt about it now, but wouldn't that mean Makuro and the Mastermind were allies? So why? Why would they kill Makuro? Plus, even the Headmaster seemed to be afraid of what Makuro was capable of. They would have had to take her completely by surprise to kill her like that. Or maybe it means the Mastermind is even stronger than Makuro was. What? What's wrong, Makoto? Huh? That's fine. You seem to be lost in thought. But I should probably point out one other thing. There's another important bit of information within the file you should note. What, Kyoko's profile? Hmm. Did you notice the picture in there? A picture of a girl perhaps you've never seen before? <laughs> a girl who seems to be included as part of our class number 78. That should... Yeah, that's Mukuro. That should be enough for you to figure out who the girl is. Yeah, hmm. duh. We, we got that. I, I didn't even need to think about it. And further information about that girl is included in the file. 5 foot 7 inches 97 pounds and it even lists her vitals 31 22 32 <laughs> well what do you think well we can identify the body stop talking you hopeless idiot what i'm trying to tell you is maybe will you want to keep that in mind for later maybe you make your way back to the corpse and maybe you think oh could that mean yes oh my gosh there's a chance the body isn't actually makuro is that what he's saying? Personally, what I'm thinking seems all but impossible, but it wouldn't hurt to confirm, right? It's all clear. That's now. all I was trying to say. What you do with that information is your business. Yeah, it makes sense if Bakura is still alive. Oh, I mean. Hmm. Oh, and one last thing. It's a bit of advice for me to you, so I suggest you pay attention. Advice for me? You seem to be getting along with Kyoko quite well. It's not that we're getting along, she's done a lot to help me. Hmm. Well, don't put too much faith in her. Huh? In other words... The cost of that faith might be more than you can afford. Yes, yes, no, I'm on board with that. I'm ha I trusted Kyoko until now, but I'm happy to go solo. Uh, pretty much for the rest of the game. Well, what are you saying here? Hmm. Just what I think. Call it a hunch. A hunch? Hmm. But my hunches tend to be proven right. The advice is free this time. Take it or don't. As you will. Uh, I'll keep it in mind. Thanks. Okay. Can we check like ourselves or... Um, is that it? Okay. Alright, great. We are done here. Um... I know the bio lab needs to be investigated. I don't remember any other locked rooms. But yeah. Okay, I'm no I'm very uneasy about this room. Oof. Okay, that table's a weird colour. It's so cold. It's like abnormally cold. I feel like I'm, I'm in a giant refrigerator. Seriously, why is it so cold? Okay. We have tarp here. There's a stack of tarps here. I've been seeing a lot of those things lately. There's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall. And on the left side, there's a bunch of glowing blue lights. But on the other side... Wait, there's something on the other side? There's some kind of weird machine. Oh, it's a, yeah, it's the kind of thing in horror movies and stuff. It's a fridge for storing dead bodies. Oh, are the... <laughs> the dead people here? The people we've killed, are they here? 
Oh, there's some kind of booklet here. It looks like an instruction manu manual. We offer an eco-friendly alternative to standard dry ice for all your cadaver needs. What's cadaver? In addition to the gemicidal lamps, we also provide an ozone generator for the removal of ethylene gas. Simply insert the cadaver and the blue light will let you know that automatic automated systems have been activated. Temperature and humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for optimum settings. With our system, anyone can keep a body fresh as a daisy for as long as you need. In the unlikely event of a problem, the red line will activate and an alarm will sound immediately. The exterior is stainless steel and we do offer an optional leather upholstery upgrade package. Is this it? The right hand lights are off. Well, looking around, I think I get it. It seems clear to me now. It's a makeshift morgue. And about those lights by each slot. It looks like it's set up so when the slot is occupied, the blue light comes on. So the, so the other places are for us. And to do that, I have to continue my investigation. Yeah, so there's what? Six left? Wait, are we all- wait, there's seven? Oh, cause- wait, wait, wait. But there's 16 slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's seven slots and there's still seven, seven of us alive. Are we all meant to die? Um... No, that's not what I want. Uh, okay, we should check the headmaster's room, the bio lab, the monokuma door. Okay, uh, the garden and tojo. Okay, those are the last two places. Oh, I should keep the map. What am I doing? Alright, let's measure the body, I guess. Wait, the body's gone? It's not here. Okay. Chicken is still missing. Is it in here? Nope. Oh, could have been a bio lab. That tarp. Okay, let's look at the tarp. Sure. The killer used the tarp to keep the sprinklers from getting the body wet, which means the killer might have left some clue behind here. Oh, it's from the bio lab! So it couldn't have been any of us because the bio lab was locked. There's a small stamp. Nice! That's a great clue. Mondo's pickaxe here also tells me that the students were here before. What's that pickaxe? Oh, okay. That's all I really... Okay, yeah, thanks. I got that. Uh, let's go back to the bio lab. Because that's more interesting to me. Let's pick this classroom. Wow. This is insane. Okay, well that that's an alibi for all of us, isn't it? There's a stack of tops here. But there's one, two, three, look, like, okay, let's go from the beginning. Uh, Sayaka, Junko, Leon, um, Chihiro, Mondo, Celeste, Hifumi, Taka, and Sakura. Okay. Then does that mean? 
since Mikuru's body disappeared from the garden, could it be in here? Oh, what? We have to check the menu again? Blah 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 blah. How is this not telling us how to open it? What? Am I missing something? There's some kind of weird machine. Wait. Am I missing something? Okay, it's not letting me have a look. Oh, Toko, hello. Oh, oh, Toko, so this is where you were. What do you want? Uh, am I so d d disgusting you want me out of your sight? No, no, that's not it at all. I just thought maybe you'd found a clue. <sighs> well, I, I haven't. I didn't find anything. Not one single clue. <clears throat> I figured since this place was r related to the case, it would have to have something, right? But there wasn't anything out of the ordinary here. <clears throat> Give it back! Give me back my precious time! Calm down, Toko. What's your problem? Don't tell me to calm down. Do you have any idea what I'm going through right now? When everyone finds out, they're gonna call me useless. Good for nothing. Nobody's gonna say that. <laughs> Master will. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> All right. What? Is this different from before? Wait, what's going on here? The target seems pretty far away. What? Now's not the time for me to get coins. The cherry tree is in full bloom. Wait, am I missing something? Toko? Well, why is everything... I don't think there are any clues here. So maybe we're gonna get... Oh, what? That's it? Okay. Alright. Um, this is a school announcement. Is everyone working hard? Is your investigation coming along nicely? Well then, since you're all giving it your best, your generous headmaster will give you a little hint. <laughs> For those of you who are interested, please make your way to the gym ASA possible. What happened to the bear puns? This could be a trap. You have to go to the gym, right? Well, we're gonna do it. Hey. Oh, hey, hero. <laughs> ah, Makoto. Well, why do you act so surprised? Uh, um... uh, oh, no, no reason. You heard Monokuma's announcement, right? Are you here to find out what he has to say? <sighs> I, I, I just did actually. I'm on my way out. You already talked to him. What did he say? Listen, sorry, but bye. <sighs> I gotta go! Wait, what? He was like he was trying to talk to me. He was, he was trying to avoid me. I was hoping to talk to him about the notebook I found in the locker. Has he been hiding something this whole time? I was there with Kyoko. Wait, it's just me? Okay. Hello, welcome, welcome, hello! Are you ready for your half final hint? Well, it just so happens to be in the envelope on the ground in front of you! Oh, hello. The envelope? This must be the envelope. 
And just so you know, I won't be answering any questions about what you find inside. What what? <laughs> Don't worry, just get on with the- Yeah, come on, hurry up, let's open it. What I found was a single photograph. Yeah, but where are we? We're not in it. Byakuya, Toko, Kyoko, uh, what, Hina, Chihiro, Junko, Taka, Hifumi, Sakuda. We're not. Oh, and there's even, um, Mukuro. It featured a bunch of faces I recognized extremely well. It was everyone who'd come to Host Peak at the same time as me. Wait, but. There's someone behind Sayaka. She's the only one I don't recognize. Wait, that's not true. I do recognize her. That's right. Yeah, that's Mukuro. Mukuro Ikusaba? Then this girl is... What? Why? Why is Mukuro here with everyone else? And even more than that, we're not there. It's not even... Yes, we're not there. I'm not in the picture. I'm the only one not there. The picture has all 15 other students, but not me. But I guess that makes sense, after all. I don't remember ever taking a picture like this. I went to junior high with Sayaka, but the first time I met everyone else was when I arrived here at Hope's Peak Academy. A weed? Is it, uh, is it like me? I'm the despair? That came in and wrecked the school. Um, now we've all woken up. I've completely forgotten, and everyone else is trying to figure it out. But it's me the whole time. Everyone is in the picture. I thought everyone was like me and didn't know each other till they got here. But if this picture is real. Then that could that mean? Could it be everyone else and just me? Everyone here except me is. <laughs> How long are you gonna keep up this rambling soliloquy of yours, Hamlet? What are you gonna do? Kind of getting in the way, standing there, you know. Mm. So I mean, get out. But. How strange. Oops, not fielding any questions. Unbelievable. What kind of mystery would this be if I gave you all the answers? That would be totally out of the left field. Dogretti, I got to a good three. I guess that means he's done talking. Damn it! Group photo. Okay, now what? So in the end, all I found in the gym was even more confusion. How does that count as a hint? It just made me even more confused. Is that what Monokuma was going for? Did he put together a fake photo just to confuse me? But it looks so real, so full of life. How could anyone fake that? Which would mean everyone but me. Maybe I should just ask everyone directly. That should clear all this up. No, I have to clear all this up! Can we run away? Alright, here's the situation. Here's what I think. Are these here? Okay, never mind. Okay, all the students were... All the students except me were previously students at this school at least a year ago. They would have been part of... Um... The Great Tragedy. Uh, wait, what's that? Oh, the archive. Okay. Um, I don't know how I come into this either. They all died, and maybe my death theory is still true. We're all just, you know, in some purgatory thing where we're being tortured forever. Or... Um, yeah, the Great Tragedy, everyone's memories got wiped out, I don't know how I got involved, maybe I'm the Great Despair. Um, and, yeah, this school is messed up. Oh, Vyakuya, 
Listen, do you think we could talk? Byakuya? That's enough. I have nothing to talk to you about. What? <laughs> Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Hey, hey, wait! What the? Why is he acting like that? I feel he's purposely trying to avoid him. Have they all seen the photo? And suspect us now? Alright, I think we're done here. Okay, I think we're meant to like talk to everyone and they're meant to we're meant to see them all avoid us. Cause Hero did it, Baku's done it. Wait, sorry, whoops, that's not the way out. No one's here. Uh, do we go back here? No. Not needed at the gym. Oh, wait, what's happening in the kitchen? Okay. Yeah, Hina's there and she's meant to avoid us. Okay, you're making us do this game. So this is where you've been hiding. Listen, I was hoping to talk to you. M M Makoto? So sorry, gotta go. Okay, now we need to find Kyoko. Let's see if she's still up here. Okay, it looks like no. Oh, okay, never mind. We can't go in there again. Uh, wait, we've already been in there. No exclamation marks here. Heroes in the garden. Okay, people have moved around. That's good. They're actually doing something. Hey, hero! Yeah. Makoto, wh what's going on with you? Every time I see you, you freak out like that. Uh, um, no, 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 I... Uh, no! Sorry, but I'm in a big hurry! Once again, he ran off like a terrified rabbit. What's wrong? Because they all think we are a ghost. Or something. Maybe they further refresh their memories? And they realized that I wasn't there. Oh, what? I decided to visit the biolab one more time, and the first thing I saw when I got there. <gasps> oh, she was passed out again. It's nothing, but, but, okay. Toko, are you okay? She's not dead, is she? Yeah, she just has never seen blood. Come on. It's cold. It's super cold. It's so cold. I think I might catch cold. If you keep taking naps like that in places like this, I'm sure you will. <laughs> what? I was asleep? Oh, I must have fainted again. I bet you were standing here staring at me, getting all excited, weren't you? No, I wasn't. Hmm? Okay, Have you then what? That certain age? Not reading that. Um, okay, why did you pass out? <laughs> I don't know. Last time I remember was me waking up just now. What do you do, Miss Morose? Oh, that's right, your memory stops. Yeah, come on. Makoto, get on the ball. <laughs> you, SOB! What does SOB even mean? And don't say it like it's a bad thing. It's a blessing as far as I'm concerned. Because <laughs> even if she forgets something, I totally remember. Yes! So it's like double the memory. Uh, it's more like half. Okay. Huh? But all I want to know right now is... Where's my little darling? 
Tell me now, or I slit your throat. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm sure Bianca's around somewhere doing his own investigating. Mm, yes, yes. By himself? I assume so. Oh, I'm on fire. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> don't want really to talk to you anymore. Bye. 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 Let's see the dead body. Yes, it's right here. The fridge, it's open. I'm sure they were all shut tight last time I was here. That must be why what? she passed out. She faints so easily. K K K Kyoko! Makoto. It's getting late, isn't it? Uh, are you okay? Indeed. I'm sorry if I made you worry. No, no, no you don't have to apologize. Listen. But listen, about this room? Oh yeah, it's... It seem... It's a morgue. Yeah. I knew it. I suspected as much. And Toka must have looked inside the fridge, seen what was in there, and... Well, there you have it. You knew she'd fainted? Indeed. I was on my way here when Genocide Jack came running past me. I assume she must have sneezed, but once I got inside, the real reason became clear. It seem... I imagine she came here to investigate, but when she opened the slot here, that's when she saw the body. Yes, of course, this is all obvious! Anyway... Makoto. Give me a hand with this. Shouldn't we... Look at, look at it. What? What's wrong? Listen. Maybe we should wait a second before closing it. Huh? How come? Because Mikuro's body is here. Yes, duh. I see. Just like every other time, the mastermind probably brought it up here while we were in the class trial. The mastermind did it because they assumed we won't be doing the class trial over again. So... Yes. So you may be right. Either way, now I can finally get a good look at the body. Okay, Makoto. I need to do my own examination of the course as soon as possible. I'm going to find a clue this time, and I'm going to grab the mastermind by the tail. Uh, okay, so what should I do? So then. Why don't you just wait over there? I'll let you know as soon as I'm finished. But if that's Mikuro, there's only six, uh, uh, eight dead people. Wait, wait, wait. Hifumi, Taka, Celeste, um... Um, 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 Celeste, uh, Sakura, Leon, Mondo, Chihiro, Saika. Where's Junko? We're missing one dead body. Okay, are you done? After all, she's in it too. Don't let me interrupt your in inve investigation, but I wanted to talk to you about something. What is it? It's about that announcement Monokuma made earlier. <sighs> you mean the one about the hints or something? I didn't take him up on the offer. Huh? Why not? Because... The only reason he would give us a hint at this point would be to confuse us, to cloud our judgement. I can solve this mystery on my own, without whatever hints he may have to offer. I feel like this is a big hint. That's a good point. Okay. I don't think she's hiding anything from me. Is she right? She is hiding something though. She met up with the headmaster. That was her diary. Are, she, are you done yet? Okay, never mind. Okay, whatever. Skip, skip, skip. There's got to be like a skip shortcut or something. It's really night time. I didn't realize that. So when someone's yeah okay, there's nine in all nine nine lights. Yes, I figured that out. One two three four five six seven eight nine. So someone isn't dead. Are we done now? Can I go? Okay. Keep talking. Oh my gosh! Blah 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 blah! There's got to be a skip button! Oh, I guess we can click on the tops. You know, I think it's. Ah, it's the same one. That top, it had a stand that said Biolab. Okay, finally, you found a clue. Okay, good. Okay, Makoto, I'm done. Already? Jeez, that was fast. Indeed. Anyone can do good work if they go slow. In that spirit, I'll make my report brief. 
So did you find Indeed. anything? I paid careful attention to the wounds and the traces of blood. It seems highly likely that the stomach wound and blow to the back of the head were inflicted after death. Really? The burnt tissue made things a little difficult, but I'm completely confident in my findings. So that means neither of those were the fatal injury. Then what was the fatal injury? Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. Okay. But those were at least several days old. Did it die several days ago? The only option is, is those other wounds, but the files said they were old. Is that right? Where does it say they're old? Huh? Because... All the Monokuma file says is that they were inflicted at least several days ago. I guess I don't see the Wrong. difference. Well, the difference is immense considering the impression they give. Listen. You seem to be equating several days old with simply old. However... But that doesn't quite follow logically. Old wounds, it makes it seem like they've been there forever. Like they're not related to the murder. Are you saying they are? Oh, yes, yes, there's old wounds, but in uh, the profile, she doesn't have any wounds. But we all got the monic- Yes, so if the wounds were at least a few days old. Oh, of course they have something so to do with it. But what if Mukuro herself wasn't killed within the last few days? What? At the very least. Certainly you can allow this one of the many possibilities, can't you? Right. Yes, duh, duh, duh. Oh my goodness. Instead, the ideal detective. Yep. In other words. They envision these possibilities without prejudice, without bias, using only their logic and common sense. Then, as they investigate, it says that what they find against each of these possibilities. <laughs> of course, me telling you this doesn't mean you'll be any good at detective work. But beyond using that to solve this particular mystery, you should keep it in mind for the future. So if there's anything you'd like to know about the condition of the body, now's the time. It was one thing. When I was looking at Makura's profile, it listed her height and weight. So... Oh. You already got it. You remember all that? They are indeed consistent with the corpse. So then. Indeed. And don't forget about the Fenrir tattoo. There's absolutely no mistake. Indeed. Our victim in this case, without a doubt, Makura Ikusaba. Yes, Makura's dead, but... One, okay, 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 so the mastermind is one of the students, but it's not one of the six, it's the one, it's one that, in better commas, died earlier in the game, so, who could that be? Dayaka? No. Junko? Maybe? Um, Leon, I don't think so. Hifumi. Maybe. Because he was so obsessed about hating the 3D world and loving the 2D. It could be Hifumi. Uh, Taka is a possibility. Mondo? I think we're inclined to say Mondo because of his personality and who he is, but I don't think so. Same goes for Sakura. If she was a spy, she wouldn't be the mastermind. Uh, it could be Hifumi. He could have faked his death again. Or Celeste is a possibility, but... Uh, okay. Anyway, that's just a theory. We have no idea at the yeah. moment. Is that all you wanted to ask? So then. then it looks like we have no further business with Makuro's body. Let's get going. Oh wait, you're not going to put the body back? Don't you think it's kind of sad? Why? Sad? Did you forget? She was our enemy once. Part of the ultimate despair. But she still got killed, she's still a victim. Hey. Have you ever heard the phrase, you reap what you sow? Yeah. <sighs> you really are naive, you know that? It's really quite appalling. But she could have abandoned me, but she decided to help me instead. What does it mean to be naive? So then. I think we've done all we can do here. Back to our separate investigations, yes? Ah, uh, hold on. The diary. If it into it. Yes, ask her now. Hey Kyoko, I did have one last thing. I know I shouldn't, but I feel like I have to what? ask. Go ahead then, out with it. Have you really not seen your dad even once since you got here? What? So... What do you mean? 
Well, you know, all those lockers on the second floor of the Indeed. dorms? I do, yes. But to get into any of the lockers, you'll need the handbook of whoever the locker belongs to. Actually, I managed to get them open using that emergency handbook. I see. The one you found in the headmaster's hidden and? room. So, did you find anything worthwhile in the lockers? I found a pocketbook, and after looking through it, I think it must be your pocketbook. Why is that? What makes you say that? Because... Like I said, only the locker's owner should be able to get into it, right? I can't imagine those lockers belong to any of us. After all, we only got access to that area just recently. What I'm saying is, there's no way I could have had access to any of those lockers. And if I did have a pocketbook, why would I bother putting it in a locker? Everything you just said makes perfect sense, but there was something written inside. It was about the headmaster, and about your father. What? If that's true... Could that mean? That video? Is real, too? Video? Makoto. I think everyone is- I, I think everything is finally starting to fit together to reveal a cohesive picture. Although, I'm afraid that picture might be worse than anything we could have imagined. W what are you talking Hi. about? I need to go investigate those lockets right now. I need to confirm what you just said with my own two eyes. Oh, let me give you the headmaster's handbook. That way you can- so... That won't be necessary. If I'm right about this, I shouldn't have any problem opening the locker with my own handbook. After all, it would seem that it's my locker. Your locker? Makoto. If you watch this, it will all make sense. The DVD? And it says, Class number 78, Urgent Interviews? So... I found it in a hidden room after you left. Anyway... I don't have time to explain exactly what I think it means, so you should watch and see it for yourself. Okay. You will understand why you found my pocketbook book in a place none of us have ever seen before. Okay, then let's go watch the video! Makoto. Oh, and now it's my turn. What? Do you have a second to listen to me ramble? Okay. In other words... So, as it turns out, the arrangements I'd made didn't stick. What I mean is, I'm less and less sure of everything, even my own feelings. I can never find the answers to the questions I wanted to ask for the rest of my life. However... But there's one thing I am sure of when it comes to the mastermind. There's no room in my heart for forgiveness. I... I swore to destroy the mastermind. This is just one more reason to follow through on that. Her eyes burned with fire of determination. The de de determination to defeat the mastermind. Hmm. It's strange. To be confronted with his death and suddenly feel this way? I couldn't care less if my father had found happiness. Why? So why is it? Why does it bother me so much to know how he suffered? It's ridiculous. There's just no understanding it, I guess. She let out a small laugh as she said it, but her smile was filled with sorrow. <sighs> so, that's it for my rambling. There's still much to do before I can consider my task complete. Hey. Yeah, you're right, but keep this in mind. There is only ever one absolute truth. Whether that truth serves justice or suffering, whether it's the greatest truth or the worst. What do you mean? Makoto. Even if the truth you uncovered is filled with hopelessness, you still can't give up hope. Uh, absolutely not, because because all I can do is keep moving forward. That's pretty much all I'm good at, you know? <laughs> Indeed. Sorry if that was strange. Well anyway, I need to get going. I'll see you at the class trial. Okay, let's go to the AV room. Okay, okay, we don't need to recap. Uh, okay, nothing here. Oh wait, where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Alright, here goes nothing. This should be able to play DVDs just fine. Well, let's have a look. It said that it was playing, but nothing appeared on screen. I stared into the black of the monitor. It must have been only a few seconds, but to me, it felt like an eternity. But then all of a sudden, an image appeared. Sayaka. The 
took me by total surprise. I hadn't seen Psycho in who knows how long, and there she okay, was. Then. Are you ready to begin? That must be the headmaster. The voice I heard was of the man positioned on one side of the screen. It was the voice of a middle-aged man. I do apologize, but I hope you don't mind if I record our conversation. I'm a little slow, you know. I never really got the hang of taking notes while having a conversation. It sounded like he was trying to make a joke, but Saika's tense face didn't move a single millimeter. So this video is meant to serve as a kind of contract substitute. It's not that I don't trust you guys. It's more like insurance. So please don't worry too much. Now then, let me get straight to the point. There is a chance that you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Uh, um... You, you want me to accept that? Psycho was obviously at a total loss. It made total sense. He would agree to that. Accept! What? Thank you. And I'm sorry about all this. Well, I can promise you that I will do everything in my power to keep you safe. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, I give you my word. Okay. As if on cue, that's where the video cut out. There was a lot I hadn't understood up till now, but this... I simply couldn't comprehend. Because I know how much Saika wanted to get out of here. I know how much she wanted to escape and pursue her dreams with her friends again. She wanted that so bad, she tried to frame me for murder. So why? Why would she say yes to living here for the rest of her life? As I sat there, I noticed the sudden light. On the monitor, the video that I thought was finished flashed back on screen. And if I was confused before, what I saw next pushed me over the edge. It's me! So, Makoto, before we begin, I should let you know that I'll be recording our conversation. Yes. Me and the headmaster were looking at each other. He and I were having what seemed like a fairly normal conversation. But I, the I in the here and now, had absolutely no memory of it. I had no memory of even meeting the headmaster, much less sitting down to talk to now, him like this. Shall we get straight to the point? Makoto. There's a chance you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Yes. This can't be real. I said yes. I'm sorry I'm putting you through all this. Well, I mean, we don't have much of a choice, do we? What? But I promise that as long as you're in this school, I will do everything I can to protect you. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, that's the very least I can do for you. Once again, the video cut out. From there, the video repeated the same thing again and again with the others. Gyakuya. Toko. Hina, everyone except what about Kyoko? Kyoko. Her interview with him had been recorded just as clearly. Without a doubt, she had met him. She sat down with the headmaster of Host Peak Academy, her father. And when he asked her his question, she answered the same as everyone else. She accepted the life within the school. Just as Kyoko's interview was wrapping up, the monitor suddenly went black. Huh? DVD, the DVD player itself had apparently turned off, which of course meant that the DVD wasn't playing anymore. Well, what the heck just happened? Oh. oh, not fair! What? So it just so happened to break just now? Now then, when does it matter? Billy can strike anywhere, anytime! <laughs> That's not fair! You're cheating! Yeah, you cut the power on purpose. Did you hear Mukuro? That's what I... That's right. I fainted too and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation. It would seem... My memory was gone. I couldn't remember why I'd come to this school. 
blah blah blah. A convenient outcome. Something that seemed to obviously work in favor of the mastermind. So does that mean I've lost my memory too? Okay. Alright, here we go. Clearly, yes. Backs up my theory. Clearly, we had all come to this school. Maybe the hint purposely excluded me to create distrust amongst the students. Uh, that's a plausible theory. The, the hint that Monokuma gave us with that picture. Um, there's also a dead body missing. I'm convinced of that. So potentially the mastermind, who is apparently one of our students, uh, is one of the students that died earlier. My top tip would be... Who did I, who did I say? Um, Hifumi. <laughs> is it really Hifumi? <laughs> He's the only one that's kind of... despised the current world. And I think that might be connected to... Despair? I don't know. At the same time, we don't know that much about Jinko, it could be anyone. So all our memories got wiped, that's really obviously clear. And if the end comes, then that means it's time for a fresh start. There is no night that doesn't have a dawn. Although that dawn is totally pitch black, there is no storm that won't eventually end. Of course, then that leads to drought. But as I said, every end is the promise of a new beginning. Which is why I'm sure we'll get to meet again. Because the end is only the beginning. What, when we win the game, we get reset and we have to start again from the beginning? Is that what's gonna happen? Anyway, let's get started. Some BS crap. The beginning of the end of the class trial. There's no happy ending out of this. I'm, I'm Everyone gather once again at you know where. I'm pretty convinced. <laughs> okay, there's not going to be a happy ending. I don't have a choice. I have to do this. Okay then, this is the end. I guess I'm the first one this time. You're early, Mikado. Listen. Does that mean you feel prepared? Yeah, for now at least. But where's everyone else? Why aren't they here yet? However... Don't worry. I'm sure they'll be here soon. And just as she said... Byakuya? Byakuya! What? They arrived one after another. Where's Toko? But they were all in the same state of shock. Hina? Hero? Silence, and it wasn't any normal silence. It was the deafening silence of fear and suspicion. It was like the first class trial. You called for me and so I appeared. Oh, I'm late! <laughs> I'm on fire! Ah, strong silent master is so wonderful, so cool, so hot. Yes! Okay, shut Bye. up, blah blah blah. <laughs> huh? Where am I? <sighs> No human language can describe the disappointment I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Is everyone here? Ooh, and wearing our, wearing our gloomy Gus faces, well I see. Now. Let's begin! Kills, chills, kills. That's fine. You're right, this is the final class trial, and this time, it will be fair. What do you mean, this time? Stop with all the slander! I'm a very good standing, you know? Unbelievable. Okay. Today I'm feeling white. That despair is mightier than the hope. Stop talking. Enough of your tedious drivel. Begin the trial already. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> oh, I don't want to hear Modern Kuma's voice ever again for at least ten years. Hmm. Whatever. In the name of my family. This will be over in no time. Huh, okay. Why are you mad? <laughs> Nobody made eye contact. They just disappeared. Hey. They're all acting odd. Like they're paranoid, suspicious of each other. However, But you know why that is, don't you? 
Y yeah, I think so. However, well, you can tell us all about it soon, at the class trial. You're right, I'm so... ready. Ready to win, right? Of course. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. Alright, here we go. I repeated to myself that there was no fear, no mystery left. I pushed the anxiety down, calmed my trembling body, and finally... I passed the threshold and stood in the elevator. With that warning, it began to descend. Deeper and deeper still. I closed my eyes and sight fell away. All sound too disappeared. What could have been seconds or centuries later? I slowly opened my eyes. Ooh, okay. This is the final trial, sir? <laughs> what do you think? Isn't it just the perfect background for designing a person's face? Yahoo! It's long away the last day! The always exciting final boss <laughs> battle! And I'm gonna sit in on this one! I'll just sit right here in the vacant 16th seat! Oh, there were 16 seats at the beginning! That pointed to that at the start! Oh! Why did I not... Ah! Oh. Well... I'll forgive myself for not picking that up, but... Oh! It was there all along! Alright. Oh my gosh. I don't have that many skills. Okay, that's not that much. And I remember most things. Okay, we'll just... Go along it as our own way. I have all these spare skill points for nothing! Where were you meant to unlock these things? What, was it like meant to spend like a lot of time on one person and I'll get some stuff? Did that spread my free time too much? Alright. Um, I'm gonna end the video here. Since this will be the final wait. class trial, wait, wait, wait. I've come up with a special rule. I need to wait for a good moment. So listen up. If you can figure out Mukuro's killer and go on to solve the mystery of this school, you guys win. Okay. But if you can't, then I win. And of course, waiting for the loser is the super exciting, super hard pounding punishment! Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? Yep, sure will. And that's final? No loopholes? No wiggling out of it later? Of course not! Bears never go back on their word! Never mind all that. I just have one question for you. Okay. Oh, you're taking this serious, huh? Are you feeling okay? Is the mastermind only one person? Hmm? Good question. Don't bother. I already know the answer. What? You're all the mastermind, aren't you? You're all out to get me! Oh, hero! <sighs> I'm right, aren't I? I knew it! What? You guys have all been working together, haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm right. Hey, you stole my line. You're all out to get me. I'm sure of it. Oh, that's what they all think? Okay. I have evidence of my own. Really? What a coincidence. I too have evidence to present. Evidence that proves everyone other than me has been working together. What? What? Wait. Hold on, this doesn't make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind of evidence? There's no doubt this is a trap. You have something that proves it. You guys have all been working together, haven't you? I have evidence, so I know I'm oh, right. Oh, the group photo, yeah. Hey, you stole my line. You're okay, they all saw the group photo and all what saw that they weren't evidence there. That proves everyone. What? This doesn't make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind? There we go. No, that's wrong.
It's not just you three. I have evidence too. What? You too? The evidence you're all referring to is this group photo, right? Well, well yeah. Huh? Wait, but mine's different. Exactly. With the picture you have, I'm in it. Ah, oh, that's so that. But that can't be right. Because in my picture... So they were... Oh, wow. See? I'm the only one not in it. <laughs> Look at us. That's so funny. Look at us. Oh, wow. Um, uh, Miku is just sulking there. Kyoko. Oh, look how everyone happy is. And there's Junko and Chihiro. Wow. <laughs> is, is that... Uh, this is a great photo. Is this, um... How the heck is Hifumi catching up with us? Is that Sakura doing laughing us? Hmm. I figured that's much in which Hero, case. You have a picture too, right? Let's see it. Okay, but be careful with it. It's pretty important evidence. No, it's not. <laughs> Look at Mondo sleeping. Leon's there. Where are we? Yaku's. <laughs> Yaku's reading a book and um, Toko's right behind him. Wait, where are we? Oh, there we are. Sorry. Right next to Sakura. There we are. And Mukuro is still sulking in the background. Hmm. So the secret in these pictures has been revealed. Secret or whatever, I don't care. You guys are all in on this together. That's why I'm the only one missing. Sure, shut up. But you're in my picture. You're the ones trying to trick me. No, it's because they're fake. So the whole purpose behind these photos was to get us questioning and fighting with each other. The mastermind laid a trap to make us each think everyone else was working against us. Huh? I laid a trap? A trap? How rude! What grounds do you have for such audacious accusations? Shut up. The proof I need to reveal Monokuma's trap. Yes, they have they have the person. Yes, and that person is the ones who got the photos. Yes, that's obvious. Oh my god. The only one not in the picture is the person who received it. So, in the picture I got, I'm the only one missing. In the picture Hina got, she's the only one missing. And in the picture Hiro got, he's the only one missing. As long as we're talking about it, I suppose I should show you my photo as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> in other words, Monokuma gave each of us a group photo in which that person wasn't included. And when we each saw our picture, we just assumed everyone else was the enemy? Duh. <laughs> Figured it out, huh? Yeah, I thought that must be it. But how was that a hint? But you know, there might be more to this than just Monokuma trying to confuse us. They're a hint because they're still real photos? There's something else that bothers me about everyone's pictures. Listen, can I see everyone's group photo one more time? Is it because Mukuro is there? It's not directly connected to what we're talking about, but I'd like to double check something. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I don't mind. Sure there's something unusual. What is it? Yeah, Kuya's picture. Yeah, Makura's there. Hina's picture. She's not participating. Hero's picture. And mine. There's something strange. Okay. Can you just forget about the photo already? <sighs> Trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo? I'm still pissed about that. And on top of that, they went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. No, it's because they're real. Mm -hmm. So you think they're fake? <laughs> no, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. W what are you talking about? There's no way. Yeah, I don't remember ever taking a picture like that. So it's got to be a fake. I'm sure of it. But you know, can we really be so sure? Huh? Don't get me wrong. 
I don't remember taking this picture either. But is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? What do you mean? Okay. Um, okay. I should stop the video here. Um, that this is not a good stopping point. Um, yes. Our memories have been wiped. Alright, Hangman's Gambit. Perfect time to stop. Alright. We'll find that in the next video. And uh, what is amnesia? Good job.